everyone. Welcome to the series of basic C Sharp and ASP.NET using Visual Studio 2015 introduced by Technolytics Take IT Easy. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate the connectivity program with XML database. Here we are going to use the controls, grid view and drop down list. Let's understand what is XML. Extensible markup language that is XML helps us to store data. We can store data in XML file and use it as a database. The XML format is supported for all the applications. Here are the listing of XML classes. To use XML classes, we need to use system.xml namespace. The first class it is mentioned over here is XML text writer. So after creating an object of this class, we can write XML to a file. Next class is XML text reader. After creating object of this class, we can read XML document from top to bottom one node at a time. We can use the read method to move to the next node. This read method returns true if there are more nodes to read and it returns false if it has reached to the final node. Next class is X document. How we store data about data the same way we can store information about an XML in X document class. And for this purpose, we use static X document dot load method. Now let's understand the connectivity program step by step. Step one, design the page. In our page, I have created one grid view and three drop down, drop down list controls. In a grid view, I can see all the attributes of my XML document and in my drop down list, since I have created three drop down list here, the reason is that each drop in each drop down list, I will bind one one attribute of my XML database. Step two, now we need to create add one XML file. For adding XML file, you need to right click on your solution you have to click on add menu and then you have to directly click on XML file or if XML file is not visible over here, you can click on add new item and then you can from there you can easily select xml file next step three is add xml file content here you can see my root nodes are <coughs> my books and slash my books inside my root node i'm having a parent node bscit and inside my parent node i'm having three child nodes book class and book name so these are nothing but my attributes. So here the data is there. My first record is there. One is my BSCIT, software engineering, my second record, and here my third record. So this way we have created and added content in XML file. Step four. Now this is the time to write the code in code behind class. So in the page load, I have written one if condition if not is post back. So if it is not a post back method, then I am calling one uh, user defined method that is bind data to grid view. Now here, just below this page load event, we have created this, uh, we have defined this method bind data to grid view. Inside this, let me explain you each and every line one by one. Before explaining this, let me tell you that we are using the disconnected area, disconnected environment uh, data connectivity. And for this purpose, we are going to make use of data set. Okay, so first of all, let's create an object of XML text reader class. And in this, we have to send a parameter such as my XML document file name. So for writing the parameter, I'm using the method map path, but map path method is defined in the class server. So server.map path 
followed with the name of my XML file, which we have already added in our project solution. Here, if directly you have already added, then fine, you can write the name over here. But in case if uh, otherwise you have created some folder in your app XML folder, then again, you have to specify the entire path over here. On next line, we have created an object of data set. The name of my object is DS. On the next line, in my DS object, that is data set object, I am reading XML file with, and sending the parameter of my XML, uh, XML text reader class. So what will happen? Whatever data is there on, in, uh, on XML reader uh, object, that particular data will be stored on my DS, that is data set. Once I have received data on my data set, I can now close the connection XML reader. I can close this connection. Then also I will be able to use my database. The reason is that my data is there on DS, which is there on the client machine. On next line, if ds.tables.count is not equal to zero, sometimes if there is no records, okay, then we are checking that as well. So if not a table or not a single record is there, then, um, uh, then nothing will happen. But of course, if some records are there and tables are there on my data set, then what will happen? Then we are trying to bind the data that is XML database with our respective controls. My first control is grid view one, okay? The name was grid view one. So I'm writing grid view one and the property data source. So grid view one dot data source equal to DS. So I'm just using the data source of my grid view as DS, but only by using this data source property, I cannot bind the data. For binding the data, I need to use the method grid view one dot data bind. So these two lines will create the uh, binding between XML document and my grid view control. Next, since I'm having three dropdown lists, I will be using the name of the ID of my first dropdown list was dropdown list one book number dot data source equal to DS. Jesse amne yaha pe grid view ke saath data source connect kiya tha. Yaha pe bhi with dropdown list, we are connecting it, the data source to DS. DS is nothing but my data set. On next line, I am uh, trying to, uh, uh, I'm trying to popula populate the value in my data uh, dropdown list. So for that purpose, I'm using the object, uh, name of my ID dropdown list one book number dot data value field. So book number is the data value. This is the attribute, this ki value mujhe chahiye mere dropdown list ke andar. And next, only this much will is not sufficient. I need to make use of the method data bind as we use in the grid view. So on the next line, I have written drop down list one book number dot data bind. So this binding is happened with the first drop down list one. Likewise, we have to write for drop down list two, drop down list three. So all three drop downs will be will get binded with the respective attribute of my XML database. So this is the output which we are expecting. In the grid view, you can see uh, the entire listing is there, book number, class, book name, all the data of my XML database is there. And here three dropdown lists are there, first, second, and third. In first one, all book numbers would be there. Second, all classes and book name, I have shown it by clicking on this arrow and all the names of the books. Um, book list is over here. So let's try it practically. So here I'm in Visual Studio. And as I told you, this is the design view. Here we have taken one grid view and here three drop down lists are there. I hope the design is clear to you. Now, next what we are going to do, we are going to add XML file. And in XML file, this is the data what I have written. So here my books is my root uh, node. Inside this BSCIT is my parent node and three respective attribute that is child nodes are there. Book number, class and book name. This is my first record. 
This is my second record and this is my third record. Let's understand the code behind class. As I told you, here in the page load, we have we are calling the method bind data to grid view. And here we have defined that data, uh, defined that function in detail. So you can see here, I have binded the data source with grid view. Here I have binded it with the first drop down list, one book number. My second drop down list to uh, class and my third drop down list three book name. Okay, so if you want, you can take the screenshot or else I will also provide the code in my description box. So let's run this and check for the output. So you can see in my grid view, it is populated the values of my XML document. And here, yes, in drop down list, all book numbers are there, all classes are there, and yes, all book names are also there. So this is how we have binded our database. So let's see. Uh, I hope you have understood this code very well. And uh, I would just request you to please like and subscribe our channel for more and more such practicals. On behalf of Team Technologics, I thank you all for watching this video and have a nice day.